I'm Florence Ballade 3060 and you're into something good. We're doing another review. Hope you enjoy this one as well. Okay guys, so what we're looking at here is uh, small liquid tabs. I was kindly given these by the laundry centre back in July. I was meant to do a video on them before, but I thought I'd do a review on them. So these are from the Eco Saving kind of range. That's why I've got the Eco over condition to go with this wash. It's a recycle logo here. Let's have a look. So, it tells you all the ingredients we got. More than 30% of anionic surfactants, non-ionic surfactants, 15 to 30%, 5 to 15% soap, and less than 5% phosphonates. Contains perfume, optical brightener, and enzymes. And then your instructions for washing here. Do not use a pre-wash. Do not wash flame-resistant fabrics by 50 degrees Celsius. This is all the recommended uh, storage, but not below 4 degrees Celsius. And it tells you how to open it. You can also reseal it, so it's resealable. <laughs> Not too much mind. Put the kettle on and enjoy the results. There we go. For really dirty wash, hard water, or a big drum. So um, we'll be using just one for this one. We'll wash three to five kilogram because we've got our lime scale going in. And there's your risks here. So you get 24 of these, 14 mil. And we're going to have a look at these. I've never opened them. So we we'll, shall see what they look like and smell like. Time to unbox for the first time. So I'm going to try and see if we can pull this off without ripping it. There we go, comes off easily. And there's your latch, latches that you pop. Mm, smells quite good. I'm not too sure what they look like or what they expect. Ooh, okay. So they're basically tiny pillow things. You get 24 in there. But we'll just probably use two of these. I thought they were massive things, okay. These look quite good. So they're like your capsules, basically, is what they are. Small liquid capsules. Very much like the type you get from Ariel and whatnot. I have surf pods as well. They're actually pods in a way is what they are. Um, as you know, you just put these in the wash and they dissolve the wrapper with them. Mm. So they've got just basically a natural detergent smell to them. Nothing too extravagant or overwhelming. Um, so we're going to test them and their stain removal abilities with some grubby clothes. But, there is a little twist to this one. You would normally be using the meter. I thought for this one, we'll use a vintage washing machine. As you know, I'm a appliance collector. This is my April 1986 Hotpoint 9530 Electronic 1000 Plus. It's from the 80s. And many viewers will probably remember either growing up with these or their mothers or grandparents having one of these or auntie and uncles. Because um, I want to test a an older machine, it's washing capabilities with this detergent. Because this machine is a hot fill machine, so hot and cold fill as opposed to cold fill only. So how does a more less economic design, even though in my opinion I do think hot and cold foam machines are more economic than and more electrically friendly than cold foam machines, I would like to see how this copes with hot water and does it still remove the stains. Liquid tabs in an older machine should be quite interesting. So we will get loading that and we'll see. Because I'm also doing a wash below 60 degrees Celsius, I will be adding Dettol Laundry Cleanser to this one. I do consider that for washes below 60 degrees. So we have our basket here. Of course, I don't know anyone who would be buying one of these machines now, apart from collectors. But if you do have one, or a hot point of this type, 
and this might be interesting to help. So, this here is balsamic vinegar ketchup. I've left that to sit on there for a bit. Some of it's a bit damp, so we're going to see if it pulls it out. More ketchup. This is the coloured load. I do my coloured separately. Uh, we haven't got anything on this, have we? I don't think. Oh yeah, there is. This has got tuna on it. And with some sunflower oil. So we know how much that sets in. We'll see how good liquid is at removing these. This has got... Uh, charcoal from a match on there. As well as muddy boots. An old sock that didn't make it into the wash. This one is an unstained shirt. So, your instructions for use are to place these at the back of the drum. Now, you're meant to throw them in first. You can throw them in last as long as you either throw them at the back of the drum. So, I'm going to put two in there because this is a grubby load. Slot it underneath the back of the drum. I'll also add my lime scale tablet. Um, I add my conditioner, and that seems to have had these old hot points. Uh, always were famous for leaving water in their conditioner compartments. I will do an actual review of this machine, though it won't really be of any benefit to anyone. So one cap of Ecova in there, and a little cap goes a long way with Ecova. It is the apple blossom and almond scent, 50 wash. And I'll add this. They say two caps to this, but I never need more than a half. Never want to fill that too much because it will siphon it in. Again, this is like the liquid tabs, has a dissolvable wrapper. Seal up for the next wash. We pop the two tabs out, push down, pop it back in place, and wrapper on there. Keeps the freshness in. And dry them out. So, we're going to be doing this on a standard 40 degree wash. I was choosing a 50 before, but we're going to do it on. So, this one uh, is, has the old ITCL um, International Textile Care Label uh, numbers. So, program 5 on this would be your standard 40 degree wash, uh, non color fast cotton. Because colors, you're not really meant to do on a hot wash. So, I've turned that to program 5. You've seen there. Yeah. I'll show you how these old ones, those not familiar with how these work, you turn the dial around. Um, I will be selecting, on this one I have to nudge it forward slightly. I will be selecting half load because it's a half load laundry. It's on at the plug and for this one I just pull the dial to start. So this machine is mixed filling, hot and cold at the same time to regulate the temperature down to about 40 or 30 degrees and then the machine heats up the remaining water. At this point the tablet dissolves uh, and the capsules do. And we swing into wash action. You can tell it's not as quiet as your modern day machine. So it looks like there's nothing in there, no suds in there at the moment. So this is the vintage machine in the tile. And then you can see there's some in there just now. So it will dissolve as the temperature rises in there. And there's the water there, so there you go. You can see some suds developing now. And the wash action is very thorough on these older machines. They only have one set speed for their cotton to wash. Um, it's very noisy, the machine is a 34 year old machine so it does make some squeaks, twangs, bangs and clanks as it goes around. But there you go. Liquid detergent does tend to froth up a bit, but it's nothing too serious. The machine is heated up to the required temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. And this is the temperature, this is the temperature which most detergents are most active at, as I say mainly bio detergents, biological. I'm yet to test these on a 60 degree Celsius or oil wash with towels. And there's a lot of speculation going around about liquid detergents, which I will cover at the end of the video.
first rinse. Um, this was in the time when washing machines did not do a, an intermediate spin after the main wash. Um, this is also using the half flow and it's not really something there. We will do a spin prior to this and then there's four rinses including this one on this machine. Let's see how that goes. Liquid detergent I believe is said to rinse out better. We shall see. Fourth thing of vintage machines, you do get the old spin that will shake the machine about it. Third rinse now, and I have to say, the performance of the uh, rinsing and the detergent is quite good. Um, of course, you will never really ever get a clear rinse, even the final rinse will always be a bit sudsy. But compared to other detergents and this being a half load, that's actually quite good. Um, this machine only does a slow speed for the intermediate spinner rather than a fast speed. So, it's one of the traits of a vintage machine. But it does the job. Normally I would do this with a full water level as well, but for this we're all about eco-saving for this one. final rinse now, the fourth rinse. Uh, the suds you're seeing in there are from the additional Dettol laundry cleanser and the fabric conditioner. The fabric conditioner does add a bit of bubbles in a way. That's all eco-friendly stuff. All done in a matter of 40, about 40 minutes that's done, 45 minutes. check after this goes through the dryer. have a look and see what the results were of that. I'd say they've come out pretty dry. Um, don't know if I told you this machine only is a 1000 RPM spin, although the final spin on this one uh, was going a little bit faster than that. Just keep it like that. No, it's got the infamous thing in the drawer. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at our results. Can we find anything? So we know the pink one was stained. I can confirm. It was down there. Um, and you look on the back, although I don't think I did stain the back. No, nope, that's all gone. So the pink one's fine. Red one did not have red one on the sock didn't have anything on it. It was mainly it was these three that did. Let's have a look. So yellow one. Uh, I can't remember what I put on each one, but I know. Okay, that's clean. Let's try the turquoise one. And that had the tuna oil on it. Holding it up through the light. I can't see any trace of oil on that. And last but not least, the blue one. This one had the ash. Uh, the charcoal then. Spotless. Now that is from liquid tabs or capsules on a 40 degree wash. A lot of these stains you probably expect to come out on a 50 or 60. I was contemplating doing a 50 synthetic cycle, but we'll test it on, on this. So I'm going to put this through the dryer. We're now going to test if, if it keeps its scent. Again, I'm familiar with the fragrances I've used on that, so I'll know what the liquid capsules smell like. After that, we'll see if it still retains it and I'll give a final briefing on that. 
And here is the finished result. So they've just come out of the tumble dryer. They were in the spin dryer as well. And I can honestly say that some of the fragrance does still remain in there. Granted, not as strong as powder fragrances is, but it's, it's still a pleasant smell. Some people might not want a too strong smell left over. Um, and it's come up very soft, so very good rinsing results as well from that. Uh, so, I believe these are only available to buy online. I have never seen them in a shop. I think they were sent through the post to uh, Chris when he got them. He had a spare pack. Originally it was never going to do a review, just going to do a video on them. But I thought, you know what, might as well make them a review. It's something good for eco-saving. Um, I'm a guy that normally uses washing powder, rarely uses liquid, um, but this is actually something nice to have. <clears throat> so for prices, you simply go to the small website, which I've put in the description below, and you simply sign up for a free trial. You save up to 50% on your normal brand price, and it's posted through your door. You get a free trial, and if you look on their website, this is what you get. All the information here. Oh, it's got 1%, hopefully it doesn't die. <laughs> so if you look here, you can pause the video if needs be. Has all the information, how it works. Try for free, one pound for postage, regular delivery. 24 pack, well I've got cost four pound 50. Tell them how, many, how often you need to put on washing and we'll regularly deliver what you need. So that way you're not overusing. And then let's they, this is their testimonial rating, 4.8 out of five. That's a very good rating, that is. <clears throat> That's what their official website actually rates them at. I think they're pretty good. Um, now, I discussed when we started the review, there's a speculation about liquid tubs, like a liquid I want to let you know. So, if you live in a hard water area, liquid does not contain bleach in it, which is what powder contains, which helps to keep the machine clean. However, if you are using liquid tabs, Make sure you do run a 60 and possibly a 95, 90 degree or 85 degree cycle. The hottest this goes is 85. Wait, this meter goes 95. Now some machines will do 90 today. Or a 70 degree cycle. Just to keep the machine clean. Um, if you are, you, you, I mean, you're using eco-friendly ones. You can use them on lower temperatures. Just make sure you're cleaning the machine out afterwards. Speculation is, is that a lot of people use liquid and gels and... It causes a buildup of mould if you're using that regularly with cold washes. If you're using a hot temperature, it's fine. I use lime scale tablets to break down lime scale in this, and because this is a hot film machine, the hot water does not contain scale, whereas the cold water on the Miele does. But that's what I use the tablets for. Um, again, with detergents, it's mainly your preference of choice. You could be a person that uses liquid. You could be a person that uses tablets and powder like I do but I like giving things a go like this and it was a very fun thing to use and now I can happily use these in my laundry. We will do a test and I probably will see how this goes on a boil wash. Um, the sounds were very low on this as so I'm quite happy with that considering there are a lot of powders and liquid bulk in all forms that will foam up quite badly. Again this does depend on your water hardness with very hard water in soft water these might be more sunnier. You may find you have to dose less. Also dosage is, um, dosing sort of depends on the soiling of your laundry. These were purposely heavy soil, but it was a small load, so I didn't only need to use two. So I do recommend these to people, especially if you're uh, an eco-friendly person, uh, people like to go green. Yeah, this is perfect for you. 24 wash box to sign up on their website for it. I'll link in the description and it was very fun to have done this I hope this review has proved possible and thank you for all the support on my last two reviews and for getting my revenue up as well I'm very happy about that and I hope to do well not hope I definitely will be doing more of these in the future and um, for those who are new to this channel um, or who are not a collector of washing machines if you would like to see more of this machine my nine hot point nine five three oh just go to my channel look for my playlist and look for the playlist my april nineteen eighty six hot point nine five three oh electronic one thousand plus i've also owned a white version of this model nine five three oh w which i briefly had for a part time this year and last year you can also check that out on there if you need to as well 
Um, and for those who are regular supporters of my channel and collectors, yes, I'm glad you can see we finally did bring this machine in for a review. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.